approximately one year ago, we asked ourselves where is all the information about southeastern European media landscapes um, online. And we had a look um, on our own channels like our homepage, our Facebook and our Twitter. And uh, we thought, okay, this is a CAS branded information. We have uh, certain, um, certain um, formats of information there, but we uh, have these uh, wonderful networks with partner organizations in, uh, in the Balkans. And um, these networks of partner organizations were not so much reflected in our online uh, communication. And this is what brought us to, um, uh, to have some, uh, okay. Okay, and this uh, actually, okay, this actually brought us um, uh, the idea to create a new platform for um, uh, combining different uh, sorts of information on the media landscapes in Southeast Europe, uh, media la landscapes, journalism uh, resources, also uh, political communication, because we think that uh, not only good journalists are needed to uh, make politics transparent, also politicians should work on their communication um, and um, basically um, improve their communication in order to make it more transparent. And this website um, is not just giving information, but also reflecting the cooperation which we have uh, with uh, organizations like Biren, like CNPM, and um, others. Uh, maybe you, I will take the device again. Okay. Um, so we would like to uh, give easy access to resources uh, for journalists and other media experts. We would also like to address different media policy issues. And um, as CAS, of course, um, we are in a German organization which is quite well known in Germany. Uh, but uh, many of our partner organizations, of course, are not so well known in Germany or sometimes in Brussels. And we would also like to take the task uh, to build a bridge between Southeast Europe uh, and Berlin, Brussels and other Western uh, recipients, uh, experts who should be able to see what is done in the Balkans. So here are some of the uh, partners uh, which we addressed um, uh, prior to starting this uh, website and uh, quite a lot were already eager to um, contribute with some uh, content or, or express their wish to be a partner in future. Um, and uh, I would also like to invite all the others to participate in this project uh, if you're interested um, and to create some, um, some uh, additional visibility uh, for our common work. So we will start now the, the website and uh, try to launch the link. It is called Balkan Media. Uh, which uh, reflects most of the, um, let's say, area, which is our area of activity. Ten countries in uh, Southeast Europe, uh, from uh, Croatia to Albania, from Bulgaria to Moldova. Uh, Moldova is not uh, Balkans anymore, but um, at any rate, um, uh, it is, uh, let's say, it reflects most of uh, Southeast Europe. And now I would like to invite you to click on the media news. Uh, over there, no, on the, in the top uh, bar, media news. This is just one of the videos uh, which is on the site. And uh, so one section is, the, um, is different media news. Maybe you could just scroll a little bit. Um, we have different categories of uh, media news, journalism and media business, media and politics, legislation and regulatory frameworks. And um, maybe click on the, on the first one. So it gives different uh, news about the media landscapes in the Balkans. And it also gives uh, always the original source, like in this case, it's the Southeast Europe Media Observatory. You have seen Brankitsa presenting her project uh, yesterday. And uh, so this is a kind of um, uh, way of integrating different news sources for uh, Southeast Europe. May I ask you to uh, go back to the top bar and click on the events. 
We also invite you to give us information about the different events you are planning in uh, the Balkans. This can be uh, workshops, this can be uh, conferences or different forms of uh, gatherings. And now we can also click uh, maybe on the Southeast Europe Media Forum, of course, which is the event uh, which uh, we all attend right now. And uh, then you can um, share this event, you can uh, find some information about the venue and uh, about the content uh, of the whole thing. Next one is the media map. And the media map is actually the core element of uh, the website. Um, you could click, if you find it, on Macedonia. Thanks a lot. So for every country in Southeast Europe, um, we have different um, analysis and different overview about the media situation. Uh, first, the general um, perception of the media situation. Maybe Manuela can take the task. Uh, Manuela is our online communications manager, and <laughs> <laughs> she's doing most of the work with Balkan Media, so uh, she's also the person who you can address uh, if you have some content to share uh, on Balkan Media. And uh, now let's click first on the general situation of uh, Macedonia. So we asked uh, different experts th throughout the Balkans to write these um, articles and analysis. This is a colleague uh, from Skopje who um, wrote the uh, general uh, situation in Macedonia. Then we also had an expert who wrote articles about the media freedom. Maybe we, we click on the media freedom. Um, media freedom in Macedonia, we have some, um, some pictures who show the, uh, the development of the media freedom according to the international rankings and also quite detailed analysis about what happens in uh, the individual countries. Okay, let's go back. And uh, maybe also the media outlets. Um, uh, we asked uh, the experts in different countries which are the most important media outlets in your countries. Of course, it's not a complete picture. Uh, but we, um, uh, we have different newspapers, magazines, radio stations, especially those who report about uh, politics, not just entertainment media. And uh, we have the uh, short characteristics of individual newspapers, including uh, contact details uh, and the name of the um, editor-in-chief uh, for every country in uh, Southeast Europe. And then there are two more uh, sections uh, which are also open for cooperation. Uh, the, the one is called publications. Um, here we have, let's say, shorter papers uh, on the media uh, situation in individual countries, uh, also event reports uh, of conferences. And uh, now there is quite a lot from CAS Media Program, but uh, you're invited to complete the picture and we will uh, take every uh, good uh, input uh, on the website. And uh, then also there is an um, uh, area which is called resources. And uh, this is actually, um, let's say, the more basic um, information for uh, journalists um, to do their work uh, in, a, in a better way or to learn something more, like, for, inst uh, for instance, the Media Integrity Matters Analysis, the Legal Leaks Toolkit, recommendations for journalistic education or for press councils, um, and also a recently published uh, Entrepreneurial Journalism Handbook, which we uh, made with some experts uh, from Belgrade. And uh, whenever, and I think um, a little bit below, there are also some, some scientific papers from the CNPM network. And um, you can also send us um, interesting analysis and handbooks and everything which we, you would like to share. It's a non-for-profit uh, project. Um, and uh, I think the uh, attractivity both for us and probably also for partner organizations is that we um, increase the visibility for our common projects and uh, our common al analysis. Um, as I said, Manuela will be happy to uh, receive your contributions and I would also like to thank uh, different partner organizations uh, for um, advice on this project. We had prelim preliminary consultations especially with Bern and with uh, CNPM and uh, I'm happy that uh, we can go online uh, today with this um, project. Thanks a lot for your attention. If
If there are any questions, I'm uh, of course happy to answer them, but I will not um, uh, delay the coffee break, so you can address me individually. Thank you. Yes. Is there? Yes, ah, there is there a is question. One. Okay, please, Hi. yes. So, uh, it's really a great job you've done here, so I want to ask two questions. First is uh, about the events. Will, uh, will we able to see other Stiftungs events as well, or, I mean, um, yes, and it's so totally open to all course, events? Yeah. Well, of course, you, you have seen the small cast logo in, uh, on the yes. top. It's because we, we did this project, but it's, it's really open. Uh, if, you, if you have a closer look, uh, for mm -hmm. instance, in the publications uh, segment, we also have a publication from the Friedrich Ebert Stiftung, which Good. is another German foundation yes. uh, with a different political background. And um, so this is uh, quite mm -hmm. an open project. Mm -hmm. And uh, of course, there is, a, a, let's say, an editorial staff Mm -hmm. uh, which will have a look what what kind of input uh, do mm -hmm. we get and what is uh, suitable for the for the website but uh, yes we're open and it's not okay. a, not only a cast channel great <laughs> and second question uh, will turkey be in this thing what and uh, why um, well let's um, I cannot say no and I cannot say yes. Uh -huh. um, let's say the media program Southeast Europe is covering 10 post-communist countries in Southeastern uh -huh. Europe. Uh, in events like this, we, al we always have Turkey, we also have mm -hmm. sometimes colleagues from Greece, which is very valuable to e exchange experiences mm -hmm. because some of the problems are different, some of the problems are the same. Mm -hmm. uh, but um, uh, I, would, um, I would accept, of course, contributions from Turkey for the publication section or for the event mm -hmm. section, uh, if there is any interesting uh, event going on in Turkey mm -hmm. on, uh, on media issues, then of course we can take it. Yeah, we mm -hmm. don't have Turkey in the media map, but all the other parts are also open for Turkey. And you are not thinking of uh, taking it in on the media map? Um, we will take that just as, a, um, uh, as an just idea. A, and oh. we'll, yeah, okay. thanks for, um, thanks yeah, for suggesting. Okay. Thanks a lot.